my channel. My name is Jocelyn, if you're new here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the home decor haul that I got as well for each of pieces. I cannot wait to show you everything. I'm so excited for how my space is turning out. I cannot wait to film an apartment tour for you guys because it's kind of overdue. I recently moved into this apartment for four or five months now and I've been just changing everything around as far as my style, um, just incorporating more vintage items and texture and more of that organic modern. I just love that and that's pretty much what you guys are gonna see here in this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and comment. That really helped me tremendously to grow this channel and I'll still keep content for you guys. But without further ado, let's kind of start with this home decor haul. Okay, it's a lot of items, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start really quickly. I'm not gonna go in any particular order because it's so much. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first one. So um, starting with Hobby Lobby, I've been very inspired with vintage items and I got last week a beautiful belt that is vintage, had patina on. And since then, I've just been so obsessed with belts and I don't know why, honestly. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I saw this one uh, for $24.99 and I know this price is crazy but I really, really want it and they only had two left and they didn't have no discounts for that day so I was like you know what I really want this piece whatever I'm gonna just gonna pay $24.99 I'm not too happy about the price but once again it was only two left so I didn't want it to risk it all and maybe potentially somebody can buy it and now I'm just here like I should get it so um, the only thing that I don't like is this sign right here that says dinner is ready I believe yeah dinner is ready it looks like this and I'm not a really big fan with signs and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off eventually but it's so cute it had definitely weight and it just gave me this vintage without actually being vintage I don't know if you guys can see the color it's so cute, literally. Um, I would say just wait for the table decor to be on sale because it's kind of crazy to spend $25 for this little guy, but I don't know. It was something about it, I couldn't have left it at the store. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is this beautiful vase from Hobby Lobby, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the texture, I love how black it is. The only thing that I don't like is these beads on the side, so I just eventually gonna remove them. But um, this was $40, and once again, by the time I went there, the table decor, it wasn't on sale, so I paid full price. I was thinking about, that's normally how they range at home goods. When you go there, it's like $3, 50 and above. And I've been purchasing a lot of bases, and that's pretty much how much I paid. So $40, it didn't hurt me. But definitely look it out for um, table decor to be on sale because this is $40 so normally they put 50% off so this will be 20 bucks eventually so I absolutely love it it's so cute it's really like that organic modern that I'm looking for and yeah I love it I just eventually once they get gonna take this off because it's not my favorite thing but obsessed okay so you guys know my obsession with bases i cannot get enough from them they're so beautiful they stand out by itself and sometimes you don't even have to add no flowers they just can go by itself it looks so so pretty so i went to Kurt cleanse and i got this beautiful vase and by the time i went there it was a sale going on and this little guy is 40 dollars. i love the color the black mat and it's so so beautiful especially these details right here on the bottom and it's a perfect size right now this is in my console table and i haven't put any flowers on it because i just love the just by itself it's so so pretty um so yeah this is from kirk Lens, and i actually have the bigger size which i'm about to show you guys in a minute okay so here is the bigger size and this little guy is huge i love it it was $60, um, but they have a sale that day where I bought the mirror from them too, and it was a lot of discounts. Long story short, this was free. <laughs> I don't know how it ended up with the numbers, but I basically just paid for the mirror, to be honest, because it was a lot of discounts going on that day, and yeah, so this is $60, but once again, I got it for free. <laughs> and it's so huge beautiful it's the same one that i have um 
you know the one that I already show you guys and it's so beautiful I'm about to show you how I got a style so I got this beautiful greenery right here and this is two bundles so that's why it looks kind of full but these florals right here they are from Hobby Lobby right now Hobby Lobby have 50% off in all the spring decor and this is $22.99 I will never pay $22.99 for something like this even though it's beautiful and gorgeous I just feel like it's too much for just something like this right but once again they have 50% off going on for all the spring decor and I took advantage of that so I got two of them and they're just so gorgeous you guys this is the perfect spring decor for me I'm not like a really floral person I like greenery and things that look very, very natural so this is so cute I'm about to show you how it looks with this vase all right so here it is how gorgeous this is literally a moment and I'm obsessed with it it's so so pretty so beautiful and I don't know you guys literally obsessed it's so 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 beautiful <laughs> that's all I can say but it just go perfect with my table since I wanted to incorporate more greenery but something more organic something more spring I just love how beautiful it looks in my dining table so that's the next item that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so the next item I'm about to show you is this beautiful candle holder from Hobby Lobby. I love the iron material. It's very, very heavy, very substantial, and it's so cute. I love the color as well. You guys know I'm incorporating a lot of browns, a lot of dark tones, just to create some dimension in my apartment. As you guys know, my apartment used to have a lot of ivories and very bright colors, which I love, but I also want to start incorporating more brown and handmade stuff. So uh, this is so beautiful. It was only $8, but I got a discount because the candles and everything candles related was 50% off, I believe. So yeah, I paid only $4 for this, and I think it's stunning. And like I said, it looks like vintage without actually being vintage, and I love that. So now we're gonna start talking about vintage shopping. I'm being so obsessed because I cannot even use another word for that. Like I'm very obsessed with vintage items. That is literally crazy. Like I literally go almost every week for different antiques because that's how much I love these pieces. And I mean, that's including furniture, home decor, you guys name it. So. Um, I just been enjoying the process to just go and see what's going on, hunting, and it's just a whole experience to see what you're gonna find versus going to Target. And no hate to Target, I do have a lot of items from Target, but lately, the way I'm decorating now, basically, I want to put my personality there, and whoever comes to my apartment or my home. They can feel it they can see the vibe they can see the story behind they can see all the things that i love and i feel like when you go to target you go to these big box stores everybody had the same thing and it gets to the point where you go to instagram you go to pinterest you go to everywhere it's almost the same thing everywhere so i'm trying to don't go to target often unless i totally need to just support small business especially vintage and antique items that I absolutely love. Lately, I've been very inspired going to vintage shop and just seeing just collective, curated, and beautiful antique items that definitely gonna speak out for my personality and it's gonna bring something to my home. Regardless if somebody else have it, not everybody have it. And that makes me feel so, so special. Anyways, so yeah. Big box stores is fine, but it's something about the vintage shop experience that I cannot even describe. So um, I'm gonna show you this item right here. I got this beautiful lantern, and this is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I love how antique it is, and I'm pretty sure it's vintage, and I'm about to light it up for you guys. This is so beautiful. The only thing is the glass keep like sliding, so am I gonna have to glue it or something? Um, yeah. I mean, you can use it like that, but I like the glass many times. And yes, it's so so beautiful, you guys. I don't have no complaints about this. This little guy, I cannot remember because they took the tags from this vintage stuff, but I'm pretty sure I paid like twenty dollars for it. 
but it's so so beautiful next item is this little chair right here and i don't know why i was just so in love with this it's so cute and when i saw it the first thing that came to my mind it was like you know what i can just put my phone whenever i go to bed just standing there or it's just like a cute stamp from my phone i know that doesn't make probably no sense but even my boyfriend was like do what you want to do don't i mean forget about what the people think because i was like i don't know i mean it looks kind of weird to have like a little chair in my nightstand but he was like if you love it just take it so yeah that was the first thing that i said i will do with this chair just put my phone over there and it looks so beautiful so it's so cute it's a vintage chair and I believe I pay 15 or 20 dollars for it from the same thing to shop I got this beautiful vase right here and you guys I love everything about this vase it just looks so different and you guys know I love vintage pieces I love a lot of vases and I haven't found anything like this like I don't know where this is from but it's speaking to me something and i absolutely love it it's so so beautiful and this was i believe 20 dollars as well in the same thing to shop i got these beautiful flowers these are absolutely gorgeous i was thinking about hobby lobby right and i haven't found anything like this if you guys know that hobby lobby cares something like this please let me know because i would love to have a bunch of them but yes it was in the vintage shop for only nine dollars and it's so beautiful so pretty so right now this is my fireplace and i paired these two together and how beautiful it's so cute so beautiful so that's what i got i also got these beautiful beads right here you guys the color can you guys tell like the color scheme that I'm going for very organic and a little woods and oh my god this is so organic like I love every single thing about this and I just love some of the details right here hopefully the camera is showing up but you guys can see kind of like patina or I don't know how to describe it it's almost like I don't know look at here it's not entirely cream it has some I don't want to say scratch it just looks so different and unique very rustic and I love this thing it wasn't even that pricey so I had to have it and right now it's in my coffee table and it just go perfect perfect in my coffee table with the rest of my decor okay so I've been having my eyes on these candles double I think that's how they call correct me if I'm wrong um, but they tend to be so expensive and even though this was probably expensive it was from the vintage shop and i got this beautiful double i think that's how they call um tray situation with a candle and what i like about this candle is actually smells good i the ones that i saw before they don't have no sense and this was 30 dollars. i know it's probably in the pricer side but once it is done you have a whole tray so you're basically paying for the candle and the tray. So $30 is not bad and it's so beautiful. You can always refill it and do your own candles eventually, which I'm planning to do because I don't have no experience doing that, but I would love to try this out. It is so cute, I love it. Right now it's in my TV stand and I think it looks so, so beautiful there. Okay, y'all, this is one of my favorite items that I got from the vintage shop. Literally obsessed with. I got this beautiful stool right here. You guys, you cannot tell me you haven't seen these are over on Exit, Instagram. These are so gorgeous, it's vintage. You can see the patina, you can see how well aged it is. And I absolutely love this stool. I pay only $30, which for me is an amazing price because they range over $100. So I love this stool, you guys. Right now, it's close to my TV stand, but I absolutely love this thing, you guys. It's so cute. It's my favorite thing ever. Okay, if you guys follow my vlogs, you guys know my obsession with fake food. And I keep saying it sounds bizarre, but it's something about fake food in your kitchen that it makes your kitchen more well put together. For example, I'm not always have bread. 
and that's something that I wanted to incorporate in my kitchen as a decor so I saw these beautiful breads in the vintage shop and how beautiful is this right now I got it styled here with my tray and you know a nice linen um, napkin but this is so beautiful you guys literally obsessed with the whole thing and they were only four dollars each which for me is an amazing price and they look very real you guys like so cute so they're just hanging out there in my countertop and every time i come home or it's in the morning it just looks like fresh bread just waiting to be cut okay so now we're gonna move on with the furniture pieces because i think i pretty much covered all the little home decor hopefully i'm not missing anything because like i said i've been shopping a lot lately but i'm about to show you guys the bigger pieces and i'm gonna start with this beautiful mirror that i got from kirkland's it's absolutely gorgeous and it's just perfect i was at first debating because i put it in my fireplace and it was too big for it so i was about to return it but this uh, mirror is like a restoration hardwood dupe or what's the other store i forgot but you guys know these type of mirrors are very popular right now and i just wanted a black one i know the goal is very popular too but I wanted to get the black one just to create more contrast and if I want to add some brass and stuff like that I can easily do it with some home decor, some candle holders and stuff like that so yeah I love how big it is, it's very wide, I can see my entire self and I got it on top of this console table that I actually got recently from the vintage shop I went there and I was like it's so beautiful, I love the color, I really incorporating a lot of wood and you know those type of neutral tones especially browns and when i saw this console table how skinny it is how small it is i was like this is perfect especially for the other door that i have here in my patio it's like a little entrance so i was like i can definitely do like a little entryway moment and i love it so these two together just pair very well and i absolutely love it the next piece, if you guys follow my vlogs, I recently got my dining table. It's gorgeous, it's vintage, it's made in Italy, and that's exactly what I wanted. I have my eyes on this table for a while now. And specifically this one, she uh, put this on Facebook Marketplace like for three months. And then I was scrolling one time and I was like, oh my gosh, she still had the post there. So I reached out to her and I make an offer and I paid $800 for it. I know it's probably gonna come across a lot of money, but trust me, these type of tables range over $8,000 to $10,000. Restoration Howard had these type of tables as well. And they are very, very expensive. And if you go to Exit, it's worse. So um, I knew for a fact that I wanted a dining table like this, especially travertine because it's my favorite material. I know a lot of people love marble and hey, I love it too, but I love travertine 10 times more. So I'm so excited for this table. It's been like a little dilemma here in my channel, especially in my last vlog because a lot of people was complaining about how big it is and yes i agree it's very very huge but it's what i wanted and this space is totally temporary we tend to move a lot and we are looking for a house eventually so hopefully once we move out we have a whole space just for the dining table and it's gonna look amazing but for now i got it here in my apartment it's beautiful it's comfortable i do my work here as far as editing my youtube videos and it's just very very good so i love it and totally obsessed with um i know like i say it's big for the space but fingers crossed it's not gonna be big for the next space i see these pieces as the investment because they're vintage they're timeless and they're very rare to find so i'm so excited for my dining table the next item that i got is of course my dining chairs I was looking for these dining chairs for a good minute and they tend to be so expensive, you guys, especially the original ones. And right now I'm sitting on them, so comfortable. So yes, um, I knew for a fact that I wanted these dining chairs from the go and I knew I wanted a dark brown color because they come with different colors. I saw that in black, beige, and you name it. So I knew for a fact that I wanted these dining chairs dark brown just to create that contrast since my dining table is very bright and ivory color. So once I saw that on Amazon, I was like, yes, Amazon, what? <laughs> I've been underestimating Amazon, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I feel like I cannot get good deals or I cannot get 
decor to be honest um, but yeah these chairs surprised me a lot however the instructions are so bad to follow so somebody that actually purchased them as well you know when you go to the customer reviews and people post you know their items and stuff like that um, one person actually posted another instructions that comes for another chair similar to this one and my boyfriend went off to that instructions and that's how he was able to put the chair together otherwise it was no way to put it together like the instructions are not clear and you guys can see if you want to purchase this chair that's the main complaint that these chairs have so right now they are like 37 or 40 percent off which is crazy because i'm about to order two more even though i don't have too much space to put chairs in the other side i'm planning to put at least one on each side of this table and once we move out eventually i will buy the other two chairs but uh, they come in a set of two and i love it it's very retro it's very contemporary very postmodern just that area that I love when it comes to vintage pieces and I love it so I'm gonna try to link everything that I can in the description box below I get you, stay right there I'm gonna bring it for you from the front okay got it, I'm gonna take this out you got it? yeah, I will call you when I finish this because it's too heavy okay, so the last piece that I wanna show you is this beautiful pot that I got from the vintage shop now i don't know if this is vintage um i don't know but it was there for 40 dollars and i think it's a great price and it just gave me this beautiful like pot um almost like this that i'm gonna show you guys it's kind of like those vases but in a pot so realistically speaking i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i kind of passed the deal i'm planning to put this outside because i'm pretty sure it's like an indoor and outdoor vase or pot i'm sorry so uh yeah it was 40 dollars and i'm about to show you because it's so heavy you guys it's really really heavy um i'm gonna do my best so here we go oh my god it's huge i love the details i don't know if you guys can see oh no <laughs> so yes i'm fine to put these if it's not in my office space can go in my bedroom if i want to incorporate another olive tree there or it can go outside in my little patio because i definitely want to do a refresh in my patio area since i'm moving here i moved when it was really cold so i was just not really caring about it but now that it's getting very sunny the spring the sun is out i'm very inspired to do something with my patio area and i definitely want to buy like a sectional or something that we can sit down like a little fireplace you guys gonna see that by but I'm trying to focus more on the house inside before I even go to that project but at the same time I know we don't get too many months with this beautiful weather so anyways this is the last piece that I wanted to show you and I hope I'm not missing anything you guys as I was walking around my home I forgot to show you this last piece I promise it's the last one um, I got this beautiful stool from the vintage shop as well. It was only $70 and I had to give my boyfriend credit because I just passed by and he was like, do you sell this? And I was like, no. When he took everything out, it was a beautiful stool. However, I know this is not going to be a cup of tea for everybody because you're probably going to see something really old and like trash or like while you're buying something like that but it has history i love things that look old the happy tina that just show how age it is and i love it so he found it and i was debating at first he was like you're gonna regret if you leave this here so i was like you know what you're right so i remember grabbing this stool and i love it right now it's in my little hallway between my bedroom and my bathroom and i had this little lantern there which you guys are gonna see probably in some captions and it looks gorgeous together so i actually love that stool i definitely can move that stool everywhere but for now it's there but i was thinking it can look beautiful in the office anywhere in the home it will look so beautiful so I forgot to show you guys that and that you guys this is my home decor haul for this video i absolutely love everything that i purchased and i'm planning to 
go regularly maybe like weekly and even though i might not buy anything it's just an experience to try to find the best quality things and i haven't been in home goods for a while now i go because i really like the faces and they're very really inexpensive but for my main home decor i'm trying to find timeless pieces and i know i can only get those timeless pieces for a vintage shop for an antique collective shop and you guys know so um i'm gonna try to vlog those trips if i can i always get a little bit shy and i want to be come out like why you have a camera um while you're vlogging i mean i don't know maybe they don't mind i see a lot of people going to places and bringing the camera but i always a little bit afraid because privacy and people don't like to be recorded and I just don't want it to think that I'm trying to scan the whole inventory but at this point I don't think so I went there two times and I left a good good check because these vintage pieces are not I want to say they're budget friendly because I saw a lot of different shops like definitely they're more expensive but definitely I've been purchasing a lot of things from them and the whole check over there <laughs> but I stay for it and sometimes you know um, I use some of my gains from Facebook marketplace you guys know I've been replacing a lot of items I've been um, just posting a lot of furniture pieces decor that I no longer need so I'm using part of that money to replace the items that I'm losing and yeah I'm so excited I hope I didn't miss anything hopefully so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and close this video i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and comment that really help me tremendously to grow my channel and also keep content for you guys don't forget to follow me over on instagram tiktok all my social medias will be in the description box below and i'll see you guys in my next one